Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add sound and video to your poster. So go ahead and open up your poster and you're going to choose insert image. And you're going to type in sound icon. So let's say I go through the sound icons and I choose this orange one. I will click select and I'm actually going to go to the shape option and I'm going to make it a circle and I'm going to make it smaller because right now it's way too big and I actually do like the color. If you didn't like the color, if it happens to be a colored image, you can actually select it, go to image options and you can come over here under recolor option and you can change the color. So let's say you wanted a blue or a purple. Actually purple and green looks really good. So I'm really happy with that image. Because I need two sounds, I'm going to select it and do control C, control V, and I'm going to bring it to the other animal that I plan on having a sound. If you want more, you would have to repaste that again and bring it to that animal. Again, you only need two sounds for this project. Now I'm going to choose insert again, and I'm going to choose image, and I'm going to put video icon and locate a video icon. So I'll go ahead and pick this one. I'm going to go ahead and choose the crop option and make it circular. Now if you want to get rid of that white, you would simply crop it, which is kind of nice. So you can crop that out. Be first. Don't trust anyone. And now I will go ahead and resize it. Okay, I'm going to check to see the, if the purple is available. I would like to have the same purple as the sound icon. So once you're happy with that, you would go ahead and select it. Control C and now Control V three more times because you need four videos for this project. Now we're going to set up the hyperlinks. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab and I'm going to type in findsounds.com. I'm going to type in polar bear and look for a sound. So I'll click on it to see if I can hear a sound. When I click on the sound, it forces me to either open it or save it. I don't want to do that. I want to get the link associated with that sound. I happen to be in Firefox right now. Why weren't you using Chrome to begin with? Duh. And when I go to Google Chrome and I look for a polar bear, it allows me to play the sound. So make sure you're using Google Chrome at this point. Now notice I was able to get that link and a sound. So I'm going to select that URL at the top and I'm going to right click and choose copy or control C and I'm going to go ahead and go to my poster, select the sound of the polar bear, click the hyperlink option and I'm going to either right click and choose paste or control V for paste and apply. Now when the user who's looking at your poster clicks on that link, this is Firefox. Unbelievable! You're still using Firefox! What the heck are you thinking? If I was viewing this on Google Chrome, that link would open. Let me go ahead and show you. So I'm going to take this poster and I'm going to go to Chrome and I'm going to go ahead and click on the sound. <laughs> The browser will determine how people listen to it and open it when viewing. You might want to recommend people view it in Google Chrome. Otherwise, they will have to download the audio to hear it. Now I will show you how to link to a video. I'll go ahead and go to YouTube and I will type in Polar Bear. And I highly recommend you find videos under five minutes because the viewers probably don't want to be watching a video longer than five minutes. So I'm going to look through these to see which video I want to link to. After looking at a few videos, I came across this video, which I think is very appropriate for middle school students who will be viewing this poster. I will select the URL and right click and choose copy. I will go to endangered poster. I will select the video icon. I will then click the hyperlink and I will paste it. Right click and paste or control V. Now when people look at it, they can open up the video. So be sure to set up all your hyperlinks. This concludes the session on how to set up links to audio and video. Until next time, you have a wonderful day. Whoa, that was a long video. I thought it was never going to end.